Now friends, let's try this question. The average speed of a train in the onward journey is 25% more than the return journey. The train halts for an hour on reaching its destination. The total time taken by for the complete to and fro journey is 17 hours and the distance is 800 km. We have to find out the speed of the train in the onward journey. Now, uh, the speed in the onward journey is 25% more than return journey. That means it is 125% of return journey. And 125% is what? It is 5 by 4. That means the speed ratio of onward to return is 5 is to 4. That means timing ratio will be 4 is to 5. Friends, the total time taken for the complete to and fro journey is 17 hours and it is taking 1 hour halt at the destination. That means actually it is running for 16 hours and covering a distance of 800 km. So the average speed is 800 by 16 that is 50 km per hour. So average speed is 50 km per hour. Okay. Now we are uh, having the ratio of uh, speeds of to and fro. Okay. Now we have to find uh, the speed of the train in the onward journey. Now what is the speed? In this case, it's total distance by total time. So the total distance uh, that is one way is 400 km and the time taken is 4 by 9 part of the total time. So 4 by 9 of 16 hours since it is taking halt for 1 hour. So it's 4 by 9 of 16. Okay. So it's 400 into 9 by 4 into 16. That is 56.25 kilometer per hour. Okay. I hope you are clear.